I always think May is one of the most amazing months to be out here in the English countryside. The oilseed rape is in full bloom and uh, you, you literally have yellow flowers going on for miles and miles. So today we're just going to be going through uh, the steps you need to go through in order to do some low level flying. Obviously low level flying can bring its own risks, uh, it can also mess up the uh, obstacle avoidance sensors. So you need to take a few steps and a few precautions to make sure you don't lose your drone. But if you uh, do it right you can get some amazing shots. If you're going to do low level flying, irrespective of whether you're using the Mavic Air, the Pro or uh, the Phantom 4, uh, one of the first things you've got to do is switch off the obstacle avoidance sensors. Because all that's going to happen otherwise is every time you go uh, close to something, your drone's going to come to a screeching halt. So I'll go through now how to turn those off. First off, go into the DJI Go 4 app. And then you want the uh, second item down on the left, the sensors. And uh, quite literally just turn off obstacle avoidance and it warns you. Now you should be good to go. And you see once you've actually disabled the sensors the little uh, sensor indicator shows red. That's a good reminder to uh, re-enable the sensors the next time you go flying. So the other thing to keep in mind is that you've got to position yourself exactly right so that you can see the drone as it's flying directly away from you. It's very hard to judge height when you're not actually aligned at a perfectly horizontal uh, level and if you're going to be flying just a couple of feet over uh, plants or things you want to make sure that you're not actually going a bit too low and clipping the tops of whatever it is you're flying over. So let's um, see what I mean. One of the big problems is that the ground can rise but you're not aware of that. So as you get further away it's probably a good idea to increase your height slightly and not crash into the tree. Hopefully you've seen my other video on uh, smoother camera settings. Uh, I go through there how you can actually slow down the gimbal settings so that when you make turns and uh, move the gimbal itself or the drone, the movements start off gently and are very smooth and gentle throughout the whole of the uh, manoeuvre. So another great shot you can have is actually panning backwards and increasing the altitude at the same time. So again you want to make sure that you're lined up perfectly and uh, all you need to do is go into reverse and increase the altitude slightly. So a bit of a quick video today but as I said it was uh, more of an excuse just to get out here and enjoy the, uh, the scenery. Uh, we only have this in flower for a couple of weeks in May and uh, you've got to make the most of it. Um, you can get some amazing shots if you uh, do low level flying. Uh, like I said you do have these steps to take. Uh, the obstacle avoidance sensors, uh, being uh, at the right position and the right height so that you can actually keep the visual line of sight of your drone above the ground and of course be aware that the ground might be rising up in the distance so you've also got to keep an eye on what's happening on your screen through the camera and make sure you're not getting too close to whatever it is you're flying over. 
But um, like I said, if you take a bit of extra care, you can get some very impressive footage. So I hope you enjoyed today. I've had a great day today. Um, as ever, have fun, happy flying, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.